Hey, it's Pastor Larry, and I just want to deliver you a very important message. You know, I'm also happy to say this, that God is still in the blessing business. And so I want to take a moment to share with you that, you know, yes, it's been a frightening time, not only for the world, but even for the church. Think about it. We've prayed, and, and I've prayed, and even wondered how things would work out as many of our congregations had to stay home and were forced to due to the virus. However, God answered. And it's shown through your work and through your faithfulness and giving that everything is going to be okay. You know, I want to thank those who are still sowing and tithing and giving and, and giving offering to the ministry. I want you to know that you're sowing into fertile ground. And as God is watching you today, as I always say, I believe that he's going to bless you mightily, especially for remaining a good giver in times like these. We at Mount Zion always work to make our world and our surrounding community a better place. When you're connected to us through your time, your talents, and resources, you're connected to feeding the hungry, to serving the underdeserved, and spreading the good news of Jesus to those who have lost their way. You know, the Bible is very clear that if a man or woman sows sparingly, they will reap sparingly. It says that Isaac sowed a seed in the middle of a famine and received a hundredfold return. In some ways, people feel like they're in a time such as Isaac, but God gives us the same answer he gave others. He has always promised that I will not allow famine to deter me from blessing my people. You know, the truth is, his strength is made perfect in our weakness. It is in times like this where the greatest opportunities can come to you. This is the time when the Holy Spirit can really show up in your life. So I declare today that increase is coming to you as you sow into the ministry of Mount Zion. From Oakwood Village, Ohio, we reach the world and we constantly preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We heal, we help and we show compassion. This message is just to encourage you and to let you know that your deeds will not be forgotten. And if you will continue or take an even bigger leap of faith, I believe your answer, your blessing, your healing, whatever it is that you were looking for is on the other side of your investment in God's work. Well, that's my word for you. I just thought I'd take a moment and tell you how vital you are to us in times like these. There are churches who have had to close their doors but we remain open. There are churches who don't know what to do, but we are more resolved than ever. We have visions and plans, and we're more clear than ever on what God would have us to do. So let's continue to see what God does through us. He's been faithful to you and through you, through us, and together. We're not just a building. We are a living thing, a living organism. And I pray continue peace, blessings, increase, and constant joy in the midst of all that you go through. I just wanted to tell you, keep on sowing because the harvest is on the way. And on behalf of the first family of this great ministry at Mount Zion, I just want to say we love you and we're here for you. Take care and I'll talk to you again soon. Hello, my friend, this is Pastor Macon. I've got a scripture for you. And I want you to read this at least seven times this week. It comes out of the book of Psalms. It was given to us by a man named David. He was traveling through life's journey and found out that he was down in a valley and thought he was there by himself. We don't know what the valley was. And thank God, God did not reveal this valley to us because it would say that only these kinds of valleys God shows up in. While we have many different kinds of valleys in our lives. This psalmist says these words, he sings them. The Lord is. Never forget that verb is. Stop right there, remember. The Lord is. Is mean present tense. That's the verb, present tense. I'm presently is. So the Lord is it right here with us. The Lord is my shepherd. He is my leader. He is my guide. He takes me in and out of places. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in need. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Sometimes things are great. He leadeth me beside still water. Sometimes things are peaceful. He restoreth my soul. He gives us restoration when we are all feeling empty. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death. Listen, you're going to get through this valley because you're going to walk through it. That's why David said it. Yea, though I walk through. And stop trying to run through. Slow down. Take your time. And let God lead you. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Surely, two things will be behind you when you put the Lord in front of you. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. It may not look like good. It may not look like mercy. But every day you wake up, it's the good, goodness of God. And every day God continues to use us even when we have failed him. He is a merciful God. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us. How long? All the days of our lives. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God bless you. God be with you. I love you. But God loves you best. Talk to you later. Hallelujah. Praise God, Mount Zion Nation. Hallelujah. We give God the highest praise because he deserves it. He's a good God. He's a faithful God. Hallelujah. If you know that he's your joy, if you can, wherever you are, come on and lift the sound of praise right where you are. Hallelujah. This is a familiar song. You know it. Sing it like you